uh, Your Excellency uh, and Jeffrey Markov, I would also to welcome Mr. Umberto from uh, the United Nations uh, Global uh, Investment Bank. Right. Correct. To Dato Zahari, thank you very much for attending this uh, session. And also from, uh, we have also from uh, the Heritage Department of TV Capital, uh, Mr. Lim Heng Ki. Welcome everybody here. Uh, as, no, what, as not what we know that um, we are doing everything, what we did now is for humanity, for peaceful, for humanity, for harmony. We would like to know about the uh, United Nations Global uh, Investment Bank. What is actually the function of this uh, UNGIB in this uh, uh, GIRIFA? Well, uh, UNGIB uh, stems out of an effort between uh, Girifa and uh, Angel Ferdinand Marcos uh, to put together a program uh, whereby we can, uh, in from one aspect, do a redemption of, of assets, of historical assets, uh, to derive from that redemption resources for humanity. That's one aspect of it. Another aspect of it is uh, we are preparing uh, to assist the governments of the world and their currencies with gold backing, which is going to be required for Basel IV compliance. And so uh, the effort is uh, synchronous. We work very closely together. Uh, we have to, uh, each one of us has to carry out different duties in order to be able to accomplish this complex task, which is for the benefit of mankind. Uh, many, many projects like the ones that uh, 2E Capital is put together uh, as a result of our efforts will be, will be funded and uh, many, many more. Um, it is a humanitarian uh, effort, and um, it is what's necessary. Uh, and uh, it is also uh, a way to guide uh, the, econo the economies of the world towards a more equitable, more fair, uh, and um, a more dignified way of handling resources, uh, putting people to work, getting people fed, educated, health, yes. all these things are uh, of utmost importance in our, in our goals and in our efforts. Yeah, most of what uh, you really agree is more towards humanitarian. Everything, everything is humanitarian. Is humanitarian. Yes, everything is for and, humanitarian. Um, you also well, talk about it's also yeah. infrastructures. Uh, humanitarian is one section. You have two. You have the left and you have the right. Yeah. Correct. The right is the infrastructure development and the economic system. Yeah. The left is deals with uh, humanitarian. Yeah. It is uh, deals with food, giving up food, giving up. Uh, assistance for every families, including the medical facilities and education. You know, those are the. Um, you have two uh, division, which is the the humanitarian and the business side. Well, we two sides. Yeah, yes. two sides. Now, the roles of GDPA and all the sub subsidiaries. Uh, sovereign uh, entities are to facilitate and assist the current system. Yeah. Uh, the difference between the GDPA and the World Bank, the IMF, and the BIS, and also the United Nations, GDPA has its own assets. GDPA is the benefactor of this uh, institution way back 1944, during the Britain Woods Convention, uh, Convention. Convention Agreement, 1946 treaty. Now, after the 1946 treaty, you have another treaty, which is the Trilateral Bilateral Agreement. GDPA yeah. and us became the, uh, the 
party who provide the under asset exchange program, we provide gold reserve for every country. That's why this instrument, this obligation was created as payment for us. This is ready to, to be utilized by the world. The only thing that, that I will announce to everyone is, let's forget our differences first. Let's build the world first. And then after that, we deal with the politics. We'll start, we should stop dealing with the politics first. And we just, we should join effort and join hand in hand. Right now, there's 3.2 billion people who does not eat three times a day. It is an embarrassment in our um, Time. generation, you know. Out of eight billion people, which we have an abundance of wealth, the wealth that we have is 69 digits. Go digi zillion. Why is it that we don't use it? We can afford to give each and individual citizen of the world one million dollars or more. What we don't do it because you have few handful of people, royalties, families wants to control the world like me. I don't want to control the world. I'm one of those royalties. I'm announcing yeah. this and I'm asking them to give us a chance to facilitate and to be the benefactor of each 172 country who became a member of us to distribute these funds to implement the global debt facilities, global debt forgiven, and redistribution of funds. In this way, we will eradicate poverty. We will create, we will make everybody middle class, rich, and then we'll create a new one, which is super rich. So we just eradicate the poverty so they can participate in trade and commerce, you know. And that's one of the goal on this. I'm grateful that uh, you gentlemen came to see us uh, for, for the submission of the projects. And I'm happy to announce that as of Monday, we have 65 quad credit to our system and 13 quad cash that's ready for these projects. Yeah, that is actually a very, very big amount that coming in, <laughs> uh, but uh, as what you said just now, that uh, we hope that or we are trying to have the whole country, uh, we are trying to help them to eradicate uh, poverty, but um, is there any procedures or any uh, terms and conditions so that we can, uh, we can uh, put our money or we can help and assist them in doing this uh, target? Well, to fund the project is very simple. You submit the master plan, yeah. you submit the feasibility study, and then you submit the requirement of, uh, that they were established by us, and then we will fund it. You know? mm -hmm. And normally, within 90 days, we get funded. You know, so it's dependent on how you completed your project. The assets can be used for projects. After monetization to trade, we can do that. We have BOT, built, operate, and transfer. We have built, operate, and own. We also have what they call non Uh, what they call non-payment loan, okay. uh, no payment plan, you know, we could do that. We also have a um, humanitarian project, normally it's free, and all uh, other hospitals. We also have a program of pre-education, pre-medical, that we issue educational policy and we issue medical policy that it's only cost the patient 1% of the total bill. Now, if they cannot afford it, GDPR will show them and 
Juniper sub companies will shoulder the P. The burden, yeah, yes. You know. So we have a several program that is already in place. We just have to uh, implement it and let them accept. Thank you very much. Uh, I got one more, just one more question about um, TV Capital is having, uh, as what we uh, been uh, people been telling is we have got 30 plus uh, platform, but actually we are going to have 179 platform in this world, or maybe more uh, in the future. So what are the procedures for uh, TV Capital? And this country uh, for the Giripa project, for the what we call the housing project, the health and also wellness and also the education project. So what do how do we uh, say to assist them? And what are the procedures for these uh, countries to cooperate between Q Capital themselves and also with uh, Giripa? Let me between the country, Gilifa and Chief Capital. Yes. Okay. The Tui Capital is the it has two functions. One is to facilitate funding for projects. Yes. Two is to facilitate redemption system to be funded for use of projects. Yes. Now the country needs is to register with us to the capitals and GDP, and then submit the projects. If they don't have any collateral, they can use their assets as collateral. And then we will monetize it for them. We will trade it for them. And the proceeds of the trade, normally we design a platform and the platform is designed to create proceeds of this trade continuously until we fully develop the country, until we fully supply whatever the country needs. You know, that is the function, and uh, the function of GDP is just to, it's just a benefactor to funds whatever to we capital submitted to us. Yeah. <coughs> okay, understood that. Very understood that. Uh, so thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency. Yes. Uh, sir. And also from Lato and uh, Mr. Lim. Thank you very much for this uh, section.